All right, so here we go again. Quick reminder, what we want to do is place our views and we only have views that show us new information. So this side would this and this would all look the same. My top, my right side and my left side. So I'm just going to do my bottom here. We got our parts list into place. We got rid of the um, description and put in material here. I added multiple sheets. So again, place views, add a new sheet, add your next piece, put in your parts list. And we have all of those set up. So we have all of our sheets set up. Oh, missing a parts list here. Just a quick reminder on parts list, how to do them. So if I go into annotate, click parts list, select the view, and put the parts list in there. Right click on it to hit edit parts list. Upper left hand column chooser. Double click on description or hit remove and come over here and add material. So the left hand side is the thing that we have available to us. The right hand side is what's going to be in here. Hit apply and OK. Now I can shrink these down to what I need. I always want to make sure that I have just one line per item here. I don't want to bump that down to a second line. So that was the parts list part. So again, taking a look at the piston here, I want the front, the right side, and the bottom views. Again, when I move this around, it moves everything around for me automatically. Turn this on so I could see my information here. Right click, edit view. I can turn on shading right there. Hit OK. Check my scale, check my paper size, and I know I'm good to go. Now it's time to start dimensioning these pieces. So we're going to start out with a simple one here, just the shaft. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this. And if I look and hit retrieve model annotations, I can take the dimension tool and I can dimension this all up and I'm perfectly fine. But I don't remember how I modeled this. So it'd be easier if I just pulled up the model dimensions. So I right click on here, hit retrieve model annotations. And I have all of my model annotations already here. So I'm going to go click on each one of these that I want to retrieve. And I want to retrieve all of them on here and hit apply and hit cancel there. And it brings up my model annotation. So this is exactly what I use to draw this. When I click and drag on the number then, it shows me where the midpoint is. And I can just move these to the midpoints. Again, a couple rules. One, you want to keep it on the midpoint. Two, you don't ever want to have the number inside your part. Three, you never want to have extension lines crossing dimension lines. So that looks pretty good there. Diameter 0.37, diameter 0.38. Now, when we were dimensioning and making this, we were using three decimal places. So we need to fix that piece of it. So I'm going to go up to my Manage, and I'm going to go to Styles Editor to manage my decimal places. Inside Styles Editor has all kinds of stuff that we're editing. The one we want to go to in the left-hand side box is called Dimension. And we're working on ANSI default. And I want to change it. The precision on the right-hand side now is 3123. Three. So that's three decimal places. Hit Save and Close, and you'll notice it just put up my three decimal places. And that would be how I would dimension this piece. Now let's go to a piece that I need. Oop. And notice I have all these lightning bolts now. I'm just going to hit update all sheets and it'll update them all. Now let's go to a piece with some circles in it. Let's dimension this piece. Circular piece here. We taught, we're going to go back into annotate. And the first thing we did when we were doing our sketching was we made some center marks. So center mark is right over here. And I'm going to click the center, 
click the center of this one and click the center of this. So now I have my center marks made. If I come up here, I want to get a center mark here that comes in. I want it to be in the middle, so this is a center line, center line bisector, here and here. And there's my center line for my part in that view. So now I have my center marks all done, center lines all done. Now it's time to start annotating. So I'm going to right click, here, hit escape to get out of center line, right click on a view, and hit retrieve model annotations. Again, this helps me out so much because this keeps me from missing dimensions. So I'm going to click all of these again. These are all the ones that I dealt with. And I'm going to hit apply. And I'm going to click this view. And I need the thickness here. And I'm going to hit apply. So now I have, again, all of my pieces, they're all of my dimensions. So I just need to spread them out. There we go. This one here doesn't want to jump into the center and I'm actually going to move this off to the left hand side. Now there's some of these that are going to lock and not let you work with them. And that's okay. We just have to figure out which ones they are and which ones don't let me move them. So I can move this, I can move this, I can get that information. Let's see if I can move this one. Sometimes you got to grab on a green spot. There we go. And I can move that. So that keeps that all lined up. I'm missing one dimension here. I'm not sure why it didn't come across, but I have to go to the center here. So I'm going to go from here to here. And it's going to give me all the information I needed. So that's how I dimension a circular part. And that's how I dimension a rectangular part. Good luck.